Okay. Yo guys, we're back again. This is the real talk with your girl Chica, and also I've got Anthony in the building. Hi usual. guys, how you doing? Anthony, Welcome. Anthony, what's popping? What's good? <laughs> I'm great. I'm doing. All right, fine. this is the real talk. Don't forget that if you want to catch up on all the juicy moments on the show live, where we talk about everything real estate and in between, don't forget to follow us on all our social media handles, and we'll be scrolling you know, on your screens, your phone screens. Now okay. today we'll be talking mortgage, and yeah, it's right. very. This is a very, very. This is going to be a breakdown kind of conversation because we're taking it for granted that we all basically know, you know, the business basic tenets of how mortgage systems run in Nigeria. However, we will be privileged today to be hearing from a gainful, insightful realtor, you know, from a realtor's point of view, what are those things that you need to know if you're considering getting a home, buying a property, but of course you don't have all the funds and you want to take out a mortgage on that home. What is going to make it easier for you? What are those things you need to look out for? How do you ensure that you do your due diligence first before you even get into uh, the part where you can now find developers who will be willing to work with you on you know owning your own home through mortgage so anthony will be you know doing us doing it justice and breaking it down for us simply so what what's the first thing that you know for instance if i want to take out a mortgage to buy a home what are the basic things that i need to bear in mind or i need to know before okay. i even go all the way to, to the get developer it. or to the agent or to whoever right. is going to hook me up okay so um um, first, I'd like to say it's a privilege to be having this conversation because I've always wanted to have um, this show from where we get to talk about things like mortgage because okay. I've seen so during my, my course of, um, you know, operations or while working, I've seen so many people get it wrong and um, sometimes they blame um, the realtor, sometimes they blame the developer when most times the fault is just from them, you get, mm. you get. So, First, I'd like to acknowledge that we've been, I don't know, should I call it privileged or I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> some people say it's a good thing. Some All people right. say it's a bad thing. In this country, most people, uh, people buy houses outrightly. Yes. And, um, yeah. So, that is um, the norm, actually. Yeah. So think, mortgage isn't really a thing, but it's starting to, you know, pick up, pick up mm-hmm. because, you know, so in Sena Climbs, we have um, mortgages um, that are centered around single digits mm-hmm. um, uh, interest rates. So yes. um, nine below. But over here, so I've seen 15, mortgages. That, it's, crazy. it's crazy. It's very high. So if you are going to be taking out a mortgage, you at least right. you should do it right. <laughs> you you should to. know what you're doing. Mm. You know, you get. So the first thing I'd like to um, 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 share is, guys, if you are going to go for a mortgage or if you want to take a mortgage, mm. please don't go look for a house before approaching the bank. Why? That is absolutely wrong. How you so? get. Because one. Um, you go look for a house, you spend time um, going through one, two, three, four listings, and then you finally see that one. And then you that say, oh, your that eye, catches that your eye. With. And then you say, oh, yeah, I want to get it through a mortgage. And then you start going to a bank after that. Now, take cognizance of a couple of things. Um, people who do that, because that's what I call um, personal self um, um, assessment, okay. they probably just check themselves and then be like, oh, I, I I have this job that pays so, so figure a month. So I should be able to I should be able house for, uh, for, this yeah, for, income, this. for this bracket. All of that is just self-assessment. You get, mm. you should approach a bank and have what I call a pre-qualification done for you. Okay. So they verify your employment, they verify your salary, they verify your a couple assets. of other things. Yeah, your assets, they verify yeah. before they be certain that these guys will give you the money it's like when they do a, pre- a pre-qualification then they can say you go get a, go get a house we would fund it okay. you get so every other thing um, um it's it leaves just it's it transcends from just um you to it's a question of oh what property are you bringing whatever verification they want to do now it's going to be on the property not mm, on you again but right. if you go out to look for a house before before approaching the bank you like you the yeah the that's it yeah. you get so that's one and then secondly um another reason why you should actually go for um go approach the bank you want to know how long um it takes the bank to you know approve a loan that supposedly everything checks out you know everything works out fine good documents your verification came out nice how long do they take you want to get that information because some people you approach a developer you say oh um, it's a 50 million naira property, and then you say I'm going to pay um, um, 10 million naira. That that's thing, that's, that should be like 20 percent of that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that should be 20 percent of the uh, 50 million, and the bank will be paying the balance. So, when paying that 10 percent, most times you would need a contract of sale that would keep that property off the market. So the developer wants to know how long a contract do you want? How long should I take this property off the market for you for your bank to come through? Okay. Now. 
if you don't approach the bank first, you, you should change yourself because sometimes you might say, oh, give me one month. But it takes the bank more than one month. Mm. The bank needs to do um, property valuation. They have to um, go through documentation, do a lot of checks on their own part part before they would approve this thing. Because now, guys, this is coming from experience. You get this is coming from it's something that that I've actually experienced on field. You get so go to the bank, know how long it would take them to approve that loan before you are able to drop a contract for that initial deposit that you want to make. That way, you don't put yourself into any box stop situation where it's because at the end of the day if you if you if the contract elapsed and the bank hasn't come through by law that developer has the right to sell that property to et- property to any other person and, and refund do you, you lose your down payment or you get it depends now you have contract of sales that says um um there's a 10 percent clause for um you not um coming through you get so when if you default yeah if you so default you yeah there's a the default document. clause in most contract of sale that's 10 percent it varies it's not a fixed rate mm. so it just depends so guys you want to actually go to the bank first before you know going to look for a house and then there's something else that i'd like to add um um i've noticed this particular one with people who um are well traveled who probably they've lived abroad before or something like that and they come back oh i have someone who bought a property in america and mortgage blah 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 i want to do the same here now one thing you should know about the real estate in this country in Senna climbs like in the u.s what they do is um the 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 um seller realtor or seller agent relationship is usually an exclusive one right so when i if i have a house and i want to sell i get a seller's agent and um I sign an exclusivity in America. I think it's for about three months. Mm. You're giving the mandate to sell the house for three months. And then if you can't, they review or take off the mandate from you and give it to Somebody someone else. else. Yeah. yeah, but for three months. So they run an exclusivity. So that way, in America, it's easy to go to a seller, seller's agent, open up a transaction for a mortgage, and you're, you're guaranteed you're working with the only that, person that, that has that you know, the mandate for that house. Yeah. So if anything is going to change, you get informed. You know what's happening in because you're working things. with the person in charge. Mm. The only person in charge of that property right. but in nigeria is different we run an open market Being a built, system yeah. where every anybody can sell walk up to a developer a property and say i want to sell your property there's no law nothing that you sure. know checkmates things like that so take for example you approach a developer and then you open up um a quest for um that property using a mortgage you get and um you are you default or it's not you don't even have to default but it's shaky where you're still trying to go through these get um, um verification get this and that in place and then someone some other person just comes with a buyer who says oh i want to pay outright if you were in that developer's Absolutely. shoes you don't want to keep your house in the market to wait for somebody you're not granted variables that you, you have no control control over. over you would sell the house you get mm. so guys you really need to get to the bank before so you the come first to the house. Call, essentially, for anybody who's looking to do a mortgage, is to first of all check in with the lending institution, whether it's True. a bank, whether it's a national housing fund, yeah, any primary mortgage institution that you are interfacing with. That's the first part of call for you, you. who is trying to undertake True. Um, a mortgage. There's something else that I've also, I've also, um, I want also wanted to ask you about. So, for instance, um, usually. Some people, when they get their pre-verification done or pre-qualification, and then you're told that, oh, okay, you can actually, you know, get a loan, a mortgage loan of up to this amount, say 20 million naira. Now, some people will go in for as a first timer, go in and actually take out a full loan at that 20 million naira. Is do you say that that is really advisable? Because I've heard that it, usually it's better and safer for you to work within. Don't go at the top or at the climax of your of the mortgage loan that you are that you qualify for. Still play it safe and play it within say a ten or fifteen million dollars, just in case anything happens. Yeah. That way you're not fully stretched beyond limits because you caught you applied for a loan at the very, very tip, tip of, of I guess. what loan you, you can access. Afford. Yeah, I get what are your thoughts on that? For yeah. me, see the Nigerian uh, mortgage system uh, have a quick fix for that okay abroad i'm sure there are uh, mortgage firms who can you know who accept equity of as low as 10 percent mm. over here some of them take equity of 
as high as 30 yes, percent you get true, so true. you it's it, it will be difficult for even you for you to extract because the some of them take 30 percent imagine 30 percent of you know the total cost Over abroad, a period of 15 years. yeah you have some people who would accept a 10 percent down you pay 10 percent would on uh, the center climb you pay 10 percent will cover up um what's it called 90 percent some will say you pay 20 percent will cover up 80 percent but mm. over here the um it's most of them would do though some do 20 but most some most of them would do a 30 percent you get so to an extent you can't even outstretch um yourself in trying to get a, a, a maximum of the full um, cost of that particular property so so what would you say is the major role that my last question and the major role that the agent plays when it comes to you know working out a mortgage um, system that works for me as a home buyer for instance what would you say is the major bottleneck that the agent helps me transcend okay. when it comes to that scenario okay the first thing because of the exclusivity that we have here i mean because of the non-exclusivity that we have here um the major role of an agent during um, uh, a, a mortgage um, transaction is to get a contract for that client because when you get a contract that says if you pay 10, um, 10 million naira. Let's say you have it's a 50 million naira property. The contract says if you pay 10 million naira, you have two months to balance up. You know, it gives that um, um, the what's it called the buyer some peace of mind that I have two months of this property to myself. It's off the market. It's it's just there for you. Coming, um, the, the the developer is expecting you to come through in two months. Mm. You get, but if you don't have a contract, if it's just oh. Um, pay, ten, um, pay, ten, um, pay your 10 million naira and it's still open for any other person. You could lose the property after paying 10 million naira. Right. So as an agent, one of your major role is helping that client get a contract that says this it's um, the, the property will be taken off the market until so so and so time, which we should be a considerable time for the bank to come through. And then guys, one more thing that I'd like for you to take cognizance of. We have different kind of uh, mortgages in this country or mortgage companies in this country. Some of them can be lenient with their um, requirements. Okay. Yeah, you get okay. so let's take for example um building plans i know some mortgage firms that are willing to um take um uh, what's it called um uh, 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 a payment um uh, uh, a payment uh, document that shows you've paid all the sums that's required for you to get a building plan but it's just the government that's taking time to issue a building plan okay. approval to you some people can actually give you can actually give you a loan for that some of them can be flexible but some of them you really have to get that um, building plan before anything can be done so guys you really want to get to the bank and actually you know get a feel of what their requirements are before you go out to look for a house that way you put yourself in some kind of um safe spot where you don't lose money at the end of the day because one thing you should know apart from going to um, meet these guys there are other statutory fees that you pay you Closing pay for costs. yeah you pay for your survey mm -hmm. you pay for the um what's it called um valuation that will be done on that property and this has nothing to do yeah. with your down payment so right? imagine yeah. if you if at the end of the day you, the mortgage doesn't come through after you've paid an initial deposit and all those study three fees you lose this money you don't go okay. to the government to ask for the um survey cost you paid to them or you go to your uh, property um, um, val um valuator to get the money back it's gone yeah. it's gone you get it. so take time Talk to your bank before approaching an agent to look for a house. Okay, I guess that's the final word and you have been pressed upon our minds why it is very important that as somebody Thank who's you. trying to get a mortgage facility that you ensure that you do your due diligence with your loaning institution first of all before you even get into the market to home shop or to speak to an agent it's important that you first of all do your due diligence and see, get a pre-verification and get a pre-qualification before cool. you actually venture into the market. Thank you so much Anthony. Thank you Chika. That's been the beat that we can take today on Real Talk. Don't forget that we do this every other week so if there are questions, if there are comments, if there are observations, if the topics you'd like us to talk on, please reach out to us in our comment section and put that in and we will talk about it and keep it real. That's it guys. on the show today, guys. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you. Enjoy. See ya. Bye.